Let's now compute the probability distribution of a one-dimensional random walk in the continuum limit. So let's start with our master equation from the previous slide for the probability distribution. I'm going to write it in a slightly different form that uh, facilitates taking the continuum limit. So let's look at px, but instead of looking at a time t, let me look at a time t plus 1. But instead of having 1, we're going to write the time increment as dt, which will allow us to take the limit as dt goes to 0. So the master equation from the previous slide will be pxt plus dt is 1 half for probability of hopping from x minus 1 to x. But instead of writing x minus 1, he'll write x minus dx, comma t. And then I have plus 1 half px plus dx, comma t. Let's now take a Taylor series expansion of this equation. So I'll write pxt plus dt the partial derivative dp by dt plus higher order terms and on the right hand side I have one half and the uh, x minus dx term when we expand it in a Taylor series will be pxt minus dx dp by dx plus one half dx squared d second p by dx squared plus higher order terms and then the other term on the right hand side is similarly pxt plus dx dp by dx plus one half dx squared d second p by dx squared plus higher order terms. Notice first of all that the zeroth order terms cancel. Similarly for symmetric random walks where the hopping probability to the right and to the left are equal the first order terms cancel. And so what we're left with is a much simpler equation, dp by dt is equal to dx squared over 2 delta dt d second p by dx squared. Now this equation is the result of taking the limit as dt and dx are both going to zero. And here something delicate emerges because when we take the limit as dt and dx are going to zero, the only way we get a, log a, a sensible equation is that we have to take the limit dt and dx going to zero such that, such that dx squared over 2 dt is equal to a constant. This constant is known as the diffusion coefficient. And it plays a fundamental role in all types of transport processes. So here, this is called the diffusion coefficient. And this entire equation here is called the diffusion equation. Now, in general spatial dimension, the same considerations can be uh, carried out. And one finds in general dimension, the equation dp by dt is equal to d Laplacian of p. So that is the diffusion equation in general spatial dimensions. There's two important points that I want to emphasize about the diffusion equation. First of all, just in terms of dimensional analysis, the units of the diffusion coefficient d, by construction, there's two powers of length upstairs and a power of, of time downstairs, so the units are L squared over t. So important point number one. Second important point is that if you again look at just the dimensions of the equation, p has no units, and we see that x squared uh, has units of time uh, times the diffusion coefficient. So an impo another important feature here is that the units of x squared are equal to dt. So with essentially zero work, we recover the means, the RMS displacement of a random walk just from the dimensional analysis of the diffusion equation. So in the next slide, I'll show you how to solve this diffusion equation. <coughs>